Welcome to Treasure Hunt. Uh, these are short uh, presentations about archaeological finds in Israel that usually date back into Bible times and involve Bible characters sometimes. But today we have something really interesting. Uh, some archaeological digs have turned up fly fishing way back in Bible times. And the reason we have 2021 is because this is the year that we've posted this video. Did you ever want to go fishing in the Jordan River? Well, it would not be something new. Fly fishing uh, goes on today, but as you're going to see in a few minutes, it went on a few years ago too. This is the Jordan River, a couple of shots. It can be very uh, shallow, very narrow, but it can be very wide and deep. In fact, archaeologists have discovered fishing hooks and more that date back a few thousand years. The area that we're looking at, the Jordan River, connects the Sea of Galilee, uh, which is in the north, with the Dead Sea, which is down in the south. And so fresh water from the Sea of Galilee pours into salt water into the Dead Sea. Fly fishing was the thing back then, and the tools that were used are incredible. Researchers from Tel High College in Galilee with United States, Italian, and Germans collected and analyzed artifacts which included boned fish hooks and six grooved stones. The fishing lines would be secured in them. They would be knotted uh, and grooved for that. You'll see that in a few minutes. Here are some of the finds that they've had. Using the technique of three-dimensional scanning and high magnification microscopes, we were able to reproduce the advanced technology through which the hooks were made, says Professor Gonan Sharon, lead author of the study and director of the MA program in Galilee Studies at Tel High. This is one of their digging sites and their encampment measurements, photography. Notice the sandbags in case uh, there is a rain to perfect, to perfect the, the site from water getting in. No two hooks are the same. Once again, the picture, if you look at it, because they're basically handmade, they would not be. The hooks were found in a drainage project in the Jordan River Valley in 1999. Other treasures found were limestone net sinkers and a fine fishing line made of plant materials and resin as glue. Now look at the lines that are there that attach to the hooks. Notice that the hooks on the right are notched at the top so that the twine could have something to hold against and was tugged. And the line at the bottom is has it's furry, so that would wave in the water to attract a fish. And then this is where the line comes in and with the notched stones up above. So they could throw this into the, the from the boat and leave the rock in the boat to secure it. And if a fish grabbed hold of it, the rock would move. They could grab the line or if it was a heavy rock, it wouldn't go anywhere. To wrap the find up to this point were a large bunch of fish bones at the site. The fish were as long as six to seven feet. And so with that, that's a brief story of a great archeological find 
instead of bibliography, I have a river riverography, and uh, there's some stories in these places that you might be able to find more information on. But most of all, I want to thank you for viewing, once again, a treasure hunt, the Jordan River, and fly fishing thousands of years ago, finding the equipment, the fishing equipment that they used.